Watching TikTok videos and playing Candy Crush may be a great way of wasting time, but sure as eggs, it's not gonna make you any smarter. Now, I'm not gonna suggest for one minute that you should be doing your homework rather than watching this YouTube video, but I am gonna suggest 10 apps that are fun to use and guaranteed to fill your brain with a lot more useful information than you're ever gonna find on TikTok. And don't worry, because this list is more than just a collection of brain training apps, which on the whole, I think are pretty useless, although there is one that I do recommend. But we'll leave that till later on because we're gonna start off with National Geographic's GOB. Available on Apple and Android, GOB is a geography game with a variety of questions ranging from multiple choice trivia to locating countries on an interactive map. The description of the free app says it's not for beginners and I'd have to agree, although it is designed for kids in fourth grade and upwards. If you're thinking you're smarter than a fourth grader, I encourage you to give this fun app a go. After 15 rounds of questions, you'll know things like which American city is most susceptible to earthquakes and where in the world Bhutan is located. Next up, we have Daily Random Facts, which again is available on iPhone and Android. Start by picking the subjects you're most interested in. You can subscribe to unlock more of the features and remove the ads, but clicking on the X will let you use the app for free. You can save your favorite facts by clicking on the heart button and clicking on the information icon will provide more details of each fact. General lets you select different subjects, which you can unlock either by subscribing or watching an ad. Swiping up lets you scroll through the different facts and you'll learn interesting things like penguins are the only bird that can swim but not fly. Clicking on the paint roller lets you change your background wallpaper and the app even has a widget which you can add to display interesting facts directly on your home screen. So whilst daily random facts might not help you pass your high school exams, it should cement your place on the quiz team. From the same developer as daily random facts is vocabulary, which works along the same lines. After installing the app, you'll be asked how many new words you like to learn each day and how broad your vocabulary currently is. Choose to subscribe or again click on the X to just use the free version of the app. As with the previous app, swipe up to learn new words and press on the heart icon to add the word to your favorites list. If you're unsure how to pronounce a word, click on the volume icon for an example. As with the last app, click on the paint roller to change your background and you can add the widget to have new words displayed on your home screen every day. If you're more into science than language, then how about an app called the Elements in Action? The app is the only one in our list that doesn't have a free element to it, excuse the pun, but for a one-off small fee, you'll be able to watch videos chocked full of information on all the elements from the periodic table. For example, you'll learn how phosphorus, which is commonly used in household matches, is safe when red, but extremely dangerous when white and how boron is sometimes used in fireworks because it produces a green flame. Sadly for my Android friends, it looks like Elements in Action is only available on iOS. But if you are interested in finding out more about the periodic table, the author does have a website called periodictable.com, which is not very easy to say. Sticking with science, one of the apps that is available on iPhone and Android and is completely free is NASA's app. If you're into astronomy, then NASA's app is a wealth of information. You can read NASA's latest news and view images and watch videos of planets and stars with amazing detail and clarity. However, my favorite part of the app is to delve into the featured section where you can interact with a model of the solar system. Here you can rotate and zoom to see up-to-date information on how the planets are currently aligned. Clicking on more offers more details about our solar system and each of the individual planets within it. You can use the menu to see photos, watch videos, and learn about the different missions NASA has been involved in. As with many of the apps on our list, NASA also has a home screen widget, which will let you display photos of planets or give you the latest NASA news. The app is completely free, so if you are interested in astronomy and space exploration, then I highly recommend giving it a try. If, however, you're more interested in culture than science, then Daily Art is the app for you. There is evidence that viewing, analyzing, and creating art stimulates the brain in substantial and long-lasting ways. And the Daily Art app lets you explore paintings and artists from classics to contemporary. Start by picking a language and allowing notifications, and you'll then enter the fascinating world of art. 
use the app for free with ads or for a one-time fee, remove the ads and unlock all of the features. Swiping up on each piece of art provides more information about the artist and their paintings. If you're left wanting more than just one piece of art a day, swipe to learn more about previously featured artists and their art. The menu icon lets you search the archives either by painting, artist or even by collections from specific museums. For example, you can learn all about Leonardo da Vinci and look at some of his different works. The app is available on Apple and Android and again comes with a widget so you can stimulate your brain directly from your home screen. Today in History is an easy way to grab a dose of, well, historical facts. It tends to focus mostly on American history and wars, but it's still a wealth of information and if you dive in deep enough, you can uncover all sorts of facts from all over the world. The way I like to use the app is to read the notifications that pop up each day, which you can conveniently set to pop up when and how often you want. You can choose to sign in, but I prefer to just browse as a guest. Then it's just a case of reading each fact. Some are more detailed than others. For example, it only takes one line to tell you that Facebook was founded on this day back in 2004, but you get a lot more information on George Washington being elected the first president of the United States on this day way back in 1789. The menu along the bottom lets you explore historic events and clicking on categories really lets you delve deeper and search historical subjects based on people, places, empires, and all sorts of classifications. If you take an interest in history, you can seriously spend hours trawling through this little app, which is brilliant given the fact that it's completely free. However, again, sadly for my Android friends, I couldn't find it on the Play Store. But if you Google today in history, Britannica has a very similar website, which you might find interesting as an alternative. Now, if you've stuck with me this far, you'll remember at the start of the video, I did say that there was one brain, brain training app that I recommend, and that is Luminosity. After signing up and providing a bit of information, Luminosity begins with a series of three games designed to evaluate your cognitive ability in areas like memory, attention span, and logic. It then takes these scores to devise a personalized brain training program that you can use to improve your score. So whilst all the apps in this list will fill your brain with useful information, Luminosity uses games to exercise the brain as if it were just another muscle in your body. Luminosity is available both on iOS and Android. However, sadly, most of the features are only available if you pay the subscription fee. But there are a handful of things you can do for free, or you can trial the subscription, and if you cancel within 14 days, you won't be charged. According to a study from Iowa State University, learning a second language is a good way of delaying the onset of dementia. And the best app for learning a language is Duolingo. A while back, I did a complete tutorial on using Duolingo and I was seriously impressed by the variety of learning techniques it offers and how fun it makes the learning process. Having chosen your language and told Duolingo your current level of knowledge, you jump straight into the first class. Initial questions are, of course, very easy and vary between matching pictures to words, translating sentences, and writing what you hear. You progress using hearts, which symbolize lives, and every time you get a question wrong, you lose a heart, and each day you start with five or 10 new hearts. Duolingo is available on Android and iOS, and although it does have a premium tier, you can go through a whole subject completely free, which I think is really excellent. Honestly, if you are learning a second language, Duolingo is well worth downloading and I recommend checking out my full tutorial. All the apps I've mentioned in this video will provide you with a wealth of knowledge, but the key is to remember what you've learned. And I've found that there's no better way of doing that than by using SRS or Spaced Repetition Systems. Anki is a Japanese word meaning to learn something by heart and Anki apps are basically a form of flashcards where you have the question on one side and the answer on another. The secret to spaced repetition learning is the frequency at which you test yourself. So if you find a particular question difficult to answer, you should test yourself more frequently on that question than questions you find easy to answer. There are many Anki apps on the App Store. If you are learning a language, I highly recommend Ulangi, which has decks of flashcards already created to test your vocabulary. However, flashcards are best when they are created by yourself, and my recommended app for that is the Anki app. You'll need to create an account to get started, but the app is free to use. 
Having signed in, you start by creating a new deck. For example, I'll call my deck American History. And then you can create your flashcards by simply adding a question to the front of the card and then the answer to the back. Once you've created lots of cards in your deck, you can start to test yourself. The app will then sort the deck, testing you most frequently on those questions you found most difficult to answer. So there we have 10 apps you can download today to make yourself smarter. If you'd like to know 10 apps that only billionaires use, then you might be interested in watching this. Or you might just prefer my five recommended security apps. Check out my website for lots more tips on all your favorite apps. And if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and a subscribe for lots more of the same. My name is Anthony. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.